Today in our 2016 Ford F-150, we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the Takancha Voyager trailer brake controller. This proportional brake controller works for one up to four axles. The part number is 39510. We'll also be using the Takancha Pigtail for brake controllers, part number 22292. Now the Voyager is going to be a proportional brake controller. What this means is that it's going to activate based on or proportionally to how our vehicle is braking. So if we just generally just normally step on the brakes and start slowing down the vehicle. Our brake controller has an accelerometer inside of it. It's going to pick up on that and it's also going to gently apply the brakes in our trailer. If we were to get more into an emergency stop situation where we really hammer on the brakes, really trying to get stopped quickly, again the Voyager recognizes that and it's going to change the way it does its job. Now it's going to send the power back there much more quickly in relation to how we're braking here at the truck to help us in those emergency stop situations. We've got really flexible mounting options with the Voyager. We've got 90 degrees of mounting positioning. We have to keep it in line with our direction of travel, but we can go to negative 20 degrees all the way up to plus 70 degrees. So really good flexible mounting locations there. They're going to allow us to get this mounted on our dash where we want it. Now, unlike a time delayed system where we have to actually wait for the brake controller to activate or where it slowly ramps up, we can get maximum braking power out of the Voyager whenever we need it. See our manual override lever there? It's going to allow us to manually apply the brakes on our trailer as we head down the road in case we need to, up to whatever we've got our gain set at. Now the gain is going to be the amount of braking force that's sent to the rear of our trailer. You can see turned all the way up, it gives us a dark red color. And the lower we've got it set, the lower or closer to green that color is going to go. You see as I slowly turn it up, we go from a green to a yellow to kind of a pink into that really dark red, indicating maximum power. Now, you change that depending on the weight of your trailer. Also, road conditions and things like that can have some effect. But we want to set this up as high as we can without actually locking up the wheels on our trailer. Now for the level adjustment that we have here on our other side, we'll start with it rotated all the way clockwise, so all the way forward. We want to apply the brakes in our vehicle, and we'll start moving that counterclockwise until we see that LED start to change. Now if we have a very light yellow color, that's going to give us very easy braking activation, so it doesn't activate very rapidly or very forcefully. As the weight of our trailer increases, as compared to the weight of our truck, we need to adjust that level up slightly. You can see here, we've got more of a moderate red for the mid setting, and then we can go to the darker red for the very aggressive setting. Well, the first thing we need to do is get our shroud out of the way that's going to be underneath this uh, side panel, which we're going to remove. Now, this is going to have a bolt located right up here on the side. We're going to have one on each side. That's what it's going to look like. So we'll take the one out here on the driver's side, we'll do the same thing on our passenger side. Now on our passenger side, we want to reach up right up at the very tip of this shroud, just about there. And if we pull out on it, you see there's a little clip that we separate. That'll allow this side to come free. We should have another clip there, and then we'll get the last one right over on that corner and pull it out. All right, now we'll set that aside. We'll put it back in once we get our brake controller in. Now we'll come right down here to the bottom and we just want to carefully work this out and separate our clips. Now we've got our little cubby hole that's right behind that rectangular shaped hole should be plugged right into the back of that. You see it right there. And what we're gonna do is just allow that to come down. And we'll pull it right over here. You can see we can pull it out right here to where it'll be easy to connect to. Now we'll get our dashboard reassembled here. 
cubby hole's gonna go back in. Now the key with getting this put back together is just making sure that our clips line up. Now let's put our shroud back in place. Now we're ready to grab our pigtail, line it up and slide it in. You want to hear that audible click and then you'll be able to push and pull on it without it coming apart. That way we'll know we'll have a good connection. Next we need to just set that aside for now. Let's get our bracket mounted. And we'll position our bracket where we want it. Now we have the option of coming up here on the dashboard if we choose to or Really, wherever is convenient, as long as we're staying within that range of motion that we talked about. And we use the provided screws and get that mounted in position. Now, you always want to check behind, make sure you're not going to screw into anything, any wires or anything like that. All right, perfect. All right, now we'll just take our pigtail coming off the Voyager there. Clip it right into our add-on pigtail, and we're ready to use the two holes that are in each side of it, and we'll mount it to our bracket. Now, I like to keep them up as high as possible, so I'm gonna use the top set of holes on each side there. Still give us plenty of room to adjust our level and our gain, but it'll be down there out of the way. Just use our provided screws there. All right, now we'll just plug in our trailer tester and make sure that the light comes on. There you can see that we're indicating with the green light, indicating that our trailer is in fact connected. And once we've confirmed our brake controller is working properly, we'll go ahead and just wrap our pigtail up here with a zip tie. Nice little metal bracket under our dash here should do a great job of keeping that up and out of the way so we won't have to worry about it hitting our feet. And of course, trim off our excess there. Now with everything working properly, that's gonna to complete today's installation of the Takancha Voyager trailer brake controller, part number 39510 on our 2016 Ford F-150.